Every year, Roan State welcomes international students through Youth for Understanding, a nonprofit international education organization that partners with schools around the world. Well, I am from, uh, from Odense in Denmark, and it's actually it's one of the biggest cities in Denmark, um, right in the middle of, of Denmark. It's a nice place. It's a cold place, but it's a nice place. The island that I live on is almost as big as, as Rome County, so America is huge, that's for sure. <laughs> it's a big place. He's been here for only a few months, and already Jonas Nicolaysen is finding many cultural differences between the United States and Denmark, his home country. The first thing that I noticed when I arrived to America, when I um, went into a Walmart store, that was definitely what we in Denmark call aggressive hospitality. And it's when, when I have some stuff, besides that American people, they are so friendly. Danish people are very reserved, but American people are very open-minded and they talk a lot, they say hi to people they don't know, and that is awesome. But in Walmart, when I have make my groceries and I'm going to the, to the uh, paying line to pay my stuff, they will uh, put it into bags for me, so I don't have to do that myself. And that is, that is a service that I'm not used to in Denmark. I love that. <laughs> Dennis Volmar, who has come to Rhone State from Lucerne, Switzerland, is finding other differences. Tennessee is much more hard and flat compared to Switzerland. And also the food is different. Including language, which has been easier than you might think. I got used to ain't and y'all very fast. And my host family uh, doesn't have a really difficult southern accent. so. Uh, I understood them at the beginning very well. Sometimes I have troubles with um, elderly people who has a really um, hard or difficult southern accent. But I, I like I like the southern accent and I try to use it yeah, even if I ain't good at it. Staying in touch with friends and family back home is easy for Jonas and Dennis thanks to online communication like Facebook and Skype. It's uh, primarily um, through Skype. And it's kind of funny because, you know, there are 7,000 kilometers to, to Denmark and it's, it's 4,400 miles difference. And I mean, the connection and the quality is so good. So it's actually being right close to them. Every time I Skype with them, I fall back in German and then about uh, I'm then about then I am for about two days in German. Dennis's host family has welcomed him warmly. When we decided we wanted to have an exchange student we wanted a family member so we try and incorporate him into going to football games in Dollywood um, but the thing that I've noticed the most um, he's very responsible and he's a rule follower, but you know, if I'm washing dishes, he'll come up and dry and we talk. And sometimes we'll sit in the kitchen for two hours talking about Switzerland and religion and the differences in church there and here. Um, most 19 year old kids wouldn't care a thing in the world about standing in a kitchen and talking to their host mom. So it's been a nice experience having him here. And Dennis has fit in well with his three host brothers, even on a seven hour drive to a beach in South Carolina. He has taught Declan a few words in Swiss German. He taught me and mom, uh, be careful, which is pasuf. He's taught me, I love you. I think is what it said it was, so. Roan State's Youth for Understanding Coordinator, Sandy Rich, is always looking for host families who can house international students on a 10-month commitment. She said it's a rewarding experience as host families embrace the students. You can never repay the kindness that somebody gives you as a student uh, when they really bring you into their home thinking it's going to be a, uh, a stranger coming in. They find out very quickly that it, they just become part of the family, and when they go home, they're crying at the airport. <laughs> for more information about Youth for Understanding, contact Emma Ellis at lser at or the phone numbers listed on the screen.